guys, it's me, Pink GameCube, and in today's video, I'm going to be making a custom figure. So this custom figure is going to be a Super Sonic Soap Shoes. So of course I have to have the Soap Shoes, which were 3D printed by Wake Angel. You're probably wondering why I didn't just 3D print these myself since I have a 3D printer. Well, my 3D printer has been really weird lately and I haven't been able to fix it yet, so Wake Angel was sweet enough to 3D print these for me. He also 3D printed me a little froggy. So the base figure is going to be a supersonic, of course, but I'm not going to be using his head just because his spike shape isn't what I'm looking for. So funny enough, in the original Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 games, Sonic's quills were actually just shaped like shadows when he became supersonic. So since I'm going for that adventure style of supersonic, I thought it would only make sense to use Shadow's head. The only thing is, since Shadow's spikes are black, I had to paint them completely white. It took like at least 10 coats to get it a solid color. This way when I do paint his spikes yellow, you won't see the black underneath. So after painting the head and body, I'm going to start gluing the shoes to his legs. So off camera, I actually sculpted some more details to the soap shoes, including the upgrade behind the soap shoes. And now we're just going to paint all those details in. wanted to try something new with this custom and it was adding elbow joints. got this idea from a YouTuber. He usually does this to most of his figures and I thought it was a really cool and smart idea. Links will be in the description. And yeah, I got the drill and everything and I'm just gonna wing this. I've never done this before so, you know, bear with me. <laughs> Now using my lead pencil, I just sketch out his eyes and mouth. This way it's a lot easier painting them. It's the first time I'm making a Sonic custom with an angry face, but I think it's fitting since he's super Sonic. Another thing I did off camera was sculpt his upgrades on both wrists. I will say the one on the right was extremely hard to make. So once I'm done painting the figure, I'm going to take him outside and spray him with some primer. And then after that, the figure is complete. I really love this figure. I think he came out pretty good. This is my first time giving elbow joints to a figure. So I think I did a pretty okay job. I think elbow joints really do help Supersonic go into those like battle poses. And overall just gives him a huge range of movement. I had so much fun making this custom. Now that I made the Supersonic though, I feel like I just have to make a Super Shadow fully upgraded in the Sonic Adventure art style. If you guys think that's a good idea, please let me know down in the comments. Or if you have any other ideas, again, let me know in the comments. I love hearing all the cool ideas you guys come up with. But yeah, that'll be it for this video. If you liked the video, please like, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.